Hi, my name is Ilban. And following my last video about how, why you should learn vector map, I would like to demonstrate to you my way what's the template project you should use if you want to dive uh, onto vector maps and learn more about the subject. Of course, I started from the Godot documentation about vector map, and uh, w my goal was actually to have a good grasp of the theory via experimentation and via a, a real project and real time project and see what, what you can have exactly about the subject each time you want to experiment something. So, um, last time I just um, explained my project but I, I did not have the opportunity to show you how you can start your own and I think this video is, uh, I start this video on this uh, goal. To, have you, uh, to help you to get your real uh, experiment template where you can experiment about um, vector map. So, the scene is really easy. You do have uh, a Node 2D and a camera. That's all. And I added a script to that. And let me show you the script. And the script uses draw primitive, the function draw, and of course the function process to update each time you want to uh, make on the screen to visualize your vectors. So I'm using draw rectangle and uh, draw line function and of course I try to experiment with the vectors. For example I try to make a vector addition and you see that I do have two constant, uh, one for the rectangle size and one for the line width and uh, each time I need to make a zoom on the camera I can use the camera which I already added to the node to make a zoom and try to have a good um, visualization of my code and of course I do have the two axes and after the two axes uh, I draw a, draw a white rectangle a filled rectangle actually you can see uh, via this simple line of code when I can draw a full rectangle a white rectangle actually to just to have the same uh, uh, example from the documentation and after that what I do have I make examples I try to experiment with the vectors uh, using a copy paste actually and try to visualize each time the vectors on my scene so let me show you see so we do have our white rectangle our uh, x-axis red and y-axis and actually I do have a brown vector, a B vector, and an A vector, blue one, and the result of the addition of the two vectors, I use C equals A plus B, and what is really cool with this, uh, with this uh, script is that you can have actually your own experimentation with the, uh, with the documentation, with the vectors, math, and actually try to understand that and have uh, a better way to understand a pure theory without any example. So, you do have example, but I think my goal was to have a, a template project where you can experiment with each aspect of the theory. Like I said, in this example, I used the example where I made an addition between two vectors, but actually you can use any one of the uh, any uh, concept, theoretical concept from uh, the Godot uh, project and try to make your own. See that I uh, do uh, this section adding vectors and I try to have the same exact result. Uh, this, the only difference is that I made, I multiplied the coordinate by 10 so I can have a good visualization because uh, 2, 5 was too small, a bit too small and I didn't have a good zoom uh, from my scene to uh, make the good example. So uh, I use uh, an easy way where I multiply each coordinate by 10. So you can see that uh, uh, although uh, you, I, uh, you have in the documentation a vector of 2, 5, I actually have a 20 and 15. That's the only difference. So you see vector A, 20, 15, uh, 50, sorry. And for the vector B, you do have uh, 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 30 beside three. So that's it. Uh, it's okay, so I'm gonna make a uh, copy-paste 
it's not so uh, so difficult and I'm gonna show you how you can do that your own you just add a new scene for example uh, let's say that you want to experiment with the new scene and after that you add node to D call it whatever you know or you want scene for example and after that you can add the camera of course the camera 2D that's it and finally you add you attach the new script which I can call scene okay you can choose whatever folder create that's it and what you do you just make a copy paste from the code that we have right here and see it's the same code copy and put it back here pass and save the scene of course save it scene okay no problem and try to start your second scene and see for the first time if you didn't make the camera uh, adjust your camera you do have this result if it's okay for you okay go with that no problem but if you want to have a centralization of your access and I think that's the way you should do because you, could, you can do have a um, negative position and this way you can only have positive ones so we go back and that's why I added the camera okay stop going back to my scene and what you should do simple as that and you take the different and make only the camera current for the node and this way when you start it you do have your uh, your scene centered and you can have negative position vectors and uh, positive ones the final thing I want to I want to talk about is the rectangle so you can sh you can of course change your card for your needs I made the rectangle of 100 but you can sh change your size of course via constant which is a good practice and that way you can have a white uh, white scene white color everywhere it's up to you you can change color of course and you can change of course experiment with the code in your own so uh, i hope this video was useful for you if you like the content please subscribe and share this content with your mates and i see you in next video